Hello guys, welcome back to another basic Java programming tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about what you mean by abstract classes and abstract methods in Java. So create a class here, class parent class. Okay. So within this class here, now I am going to create some abstract method. So first you have to use the keyword abstract and the return type is void and specify a method name I specify the method name as one method one put a semicolon here so this is an abstract method method one is an abstract method because the method start with the keyword abstract and here I put a semicolon that means an abstract method does not have a body so this is an example of an abstract method now here I am going to define another abstract method abstract void method 2 and put a semicolon here this is another abstract method so we can define an abstract method is a normal Java method that does not have a body okay so if a class contain one or more abstract method you have to make the class also into abstract otherwise it will cause compiler error so here we got an error this is because this class is not an abstract class and this class contain two abstract methods so we have to make this class class also into an abstract class so I change this class into an abstract class now the error is gone now here I am going to add another class class name the class as child class okay and the child class extends the parent class okay if a class extends an abstract class the child class must override all the abstract method otherwise it will cause compiler error so here the parent class contain two abstract method method 1 and method 2 so the child class must implement these these two method so if a class extends an abstract class the child class must override all the abstract methods available on the parent class so here we have two methods method 1 and method 2 available in the parent class so we have to override these two method so here I am going to override the first method method 1 so you can define a body for the abstract method on the child classes so here I am going to define some body for the first abstract method method 1 hello from method 1 now here the again again that is available because we have to override the second abstract method so we have to override the second method void method 2 here I define a definition for the second method hello from method 2 okay so now we have a parent class that's, that is an abstract class and a child class and we override all the abstract method on the parent class within the child class okay now here I'm going to create an object of the child class so child class I name it as child equal to new child class and by using that object I can call that abstract methods child dot first method is method 1 and the second method is child dot method 2 okay now I run the program now here we have the output hello from method 1 and hello from method 2 okay also it is possible to define the concrete methods within the abstract classes a concrete method means a method with a body so here I define either method void method 3 so within the abstract class you can also define concrete methods so I put a body I put the definition for the method 3 here 
So this is not an abstract method, this is a concrete method. Okay, so I can call the method using the child class object. So child dot method tree. Okay. Now another point is it is not possible to create an object of the abstract class because an abstract class contains abstract method. Abstract method means a method without a valid body. That means these methods are not final methods. So creating an object of the abstract class is meaningless. That's why Java does not support create an object of the abstract class. So it is not possible to create an object of abstract class. So here I try to create an ob object of the parent class. Parent class is an abstract class. Of course it will cause some compiler error. Parent equal to new parent class. This will of course create a compiler error because parent class is an abstract class and Java does not support creating an object for the abstract classes. I hope you understand what you mean by an abstract class and what you mean by an abstract method. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.